Hey everybody, that chubby guy here and welcome to American Truck Simulator. Uh, today I thought it would be fun just to check out the new Heavy Call DLC. Um, <coughs> you have to bear with me, I'm just going to go with whatever loads are available. Um, what time are we on? We're on 5.54am so we're going to get some good lighting. There's my big peak. Isn't she glorious? There is also uh, added extra bits for the trucks and whatnot. So let's go have a little look and we'll see what that's all about. Do I need a service first? No, I have took care of that. I thought I had. There you go. <coughs> right, so the first stuff is... The cab uh, is no different. The chassis is no different, but you'll notice on here there's a truck analysis screen, which is awesome. Oh, how do I get that? Oops. <coughs> now, each one tells you how maneuver... You know, well, it's all pretty much explanatory. There you are. The bigger the bar, the more suited it is for each cargo type looking at that I'm pretty good for normal and heavy cargo and good for hills so that's a good all-round truck we've got going uh, what there is is some new engines been added um, so we'll, we'll, we'll go with the main one you see it's, it's come right down look for those two it's gone up but that one's gone down because it's overkill for the normal cargo can we find a happy medium it's actually to do with the torque not so much the horsepower See, that's the same as that one. There's a Cummins engine versus a Caterpillar. Uh, let's just go for overall power anyway. Now, we've got some extra gearboxes to play with, I do believe. We're going to stick with that one, but I think if we play around with these, yeah, you see how it makes a difference? Look, well, that's really bad. The 18 speed is definitely the way to go forward. So that's good. My truck is already half configured, and I have haven't even done anything to it that's the same is there any extra paint schemes I don't know uh, it's not looking like it no that's okay right here's where it gets fun now I have to take this off for the next bit over here there's a new uh, dot that's appeared you see it look at that yes beacons only one but it will do we'll give that a go uh, what's that? What's that do? Oh, that's the exhaust. Then there's an extra one on the front here. Um, that one? No, that one. Look at that, an oversized low banner. It, oh. Right, so I'm going to have to get rid of my uh, cattle guard for that. But you know what? That's unnecessary. I like that. I'm going to keep that. Oh, what's that? Warning flag. Oh, that's... Oh, yes. Let's get some of that going on. I've never, never seen that before. That's that. Is there anything else new? I don't think so. No, that's my bug guards that I've took off. See? Yeah, I don't like them. I'm going to take them off. So we've got the flags going on. We've got the oversized load thing going on. We've got the beacons going on. I don't think there's anything new in here. No, that's good. Okay, well, we'll, we'll go with that. Okay, there we go. That's that sorted. Let's have a look at her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks the part, doesn't it? Yeah, so the beacons work. Oh, yeah. They kind of flash you at the same Oh, no, there we go. There we go. Cool. Again, that's really cool. Um, right, let's have a look at... If you go on the options... No, if you go on about... You can click on the phone again. Trailer browser. Now in here is a picture of all the... I think it's the 55L trailer. Yes, there we go. Look at the size of that beastie. It doesn't even fit on the screen. Man, I'm looking forward to having a go with these. It's got little flags on it too. Awesome source. I'm not seeing beacons on that though. This their beacons. Look at the chains. I like it. I love it. I like it, it's good. So we have that. Um, we have a bulldozer. Whoa, he's he's a big fella. I don't know what the weights are of these things. I did forget to check, so you have to bear with me. We have a, a cable reel. I think that's the heaviest one. Okay. Now keep an eye on these chassis wheels because they go differently. There we go, you see the split look. I don't know what that is. A lift truck. That's different. Now, <coughs> how it works is this bit attaches to the truck. And then 
the low boy part attaches to the I read it wasn't called a dolly it was called something else but that's a pivot point that's a pivot point so there's two pivot points which is paving the way nicely for the double trailers which is going to be awesome but I do believe on this one I think that's got a slight turning point as well under there just there I'm not sure we shall have to have a look depending on what load we get I don't know I've not looked I'm sure we'll get something that's a uh, lift truck chassis. That's pretty cool. Quite wide. Wow, a lot wider. Uh, it's going to have some... Whoa, that's big. It's not wide look, but it's 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 big. It's like bulky. It's just not wide. It's got some overhang. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Oh, cr oh you've got to have the crane. Like we have an ETS, we have a crane. I'm going to do an ETS video, I think, as well, at some point. Maybe after my holiday. Uh, I might do an ETS every haul video. Because <coughs> their trailers are different on that. Uh, but these are apparently true to real life, so... Scraper. Looks like it's broken in half. Whoa, I love the uh, dirt effects. That's nice. It looks used. Again, I'm not seeing a beacon, so I don't know where the beacons will be. If any at all. I guess I'm just being blind. And last but not least, the Transformer. <laughs> that is also very heavy. Anyway, let's go back out of here. Um, in fact, should we have a look what we can do if we go on about? I'm curious. <clears throat> this is just me being curious, so I do apologise if it's boring. So, this is a Kenny. Can we do anything different with a Kenny? Yeah, let's put a bigger tank on it. Just, just because we can, okay? Uh, that, again, that goes up to 625 horsepower. We'll do that. Uh, yeah, we'll put the 18 speed on. But is there anything sort of new? You know? That's cool. I just thought I'd check it out. So what happens if we decide to put the heavy haul stuff on this? Does it work? Yes, it does. You can put the flags and stuff. Does this have beacons, though? I don't know if this is going to have beacons. I've heard some trucks have the unique... Okay, that's got beacons too. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else we can change. Right, so let's have a look at... Let's try this Kenworth. Let's see. I'm just curious, that's all. Just give me... Uh, please be patient with me. <laughs> that's probably not what you're coming to watch, but I just wanted to have a look. Uh, it goes up to 600 horsepower. Okay, so these trucks, the more newer trucks, if you like... Or the modern looking trucks are actually. Oh, there's two different types of interior. Oh, okay. You know that. Uh, can we do the same with this? Put that on there. Can we put heavy haul stuff on this? We can. Oh, okay. Yeah, can we put that on? No, so it's one or the other. Okay. Guess we could put the flags on. Yeah, we can. Uh, beacons, perhaps. Yeah. Okay. So you can pretty much do all this stuff. Ah, there we go. Uh, yeah, you could do. Right. Okay. Let's just. Do, we might as well, haven't we? We're here, so we might as well do it as well. Uh, put the beacons on. Yeah, these things look very familiar to each other. Sim similar to each other. I don't know about you though, but the Peterbilt looks best. <laughs> I'm sorry if you prefer other truck mates, but I just think the Peterbilt is uh, it's awesome. But I digress. Let's get back to the game. Okay, uh, we'll go to external contracts. Um, see, that's a long way. So I don't want to do this so far. I want to try and do it all in one video if we can. Uh, still quite a way. Um, Phoenix to Holbrook with a scraper. That could be fun. It's it's got the three axles on it. Oops, sorry, it's me scratching my head. Let's do that one. Let's. let's uh, uh, are we good for that? I'm I'm guessing we're good. Yeah, I'm gonna go with we're good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's see. I like that little screen. It comes up just to make absolutely sure you've you've got what you want. Configuration wise, I do like that. Here we go, let's just get rid of this thing. Start her up. Let's head on over and have a look at this. Uh, lights. 
have a look at this thing. Wow, it's, uh, frame rate lag is not very good. I'm hoping it will calm down. Turn, turn, turn. I'm hoping it's just because we're in a built up area and using uh, recording equipment. I hope it's coming through okay on the video. We'll just go straight to the end and then turn left. Because no, I don't see the point in turning left there. I'm speeding. Let's change that so we can see what we're doing. The speed we're doing. There we go. I'm only speeding a little bit, okay? It's just a little bit. See, what would be really cool is if uh, the AI pulled the new loads. That would be fun. Although, saying that, I have heard. How far is this load away? Four miles. Excuse me. Stay there, Mr. Policeman. I really must stop drinking um, Pepsi Max. Oh, they not. <laughs> I was going to take him. I really hope this is coming through okay on the recording. Um, again, I haven't quite figured out how to do editing yet or anything like that, so bear with me. I have got XSplit Gamecaster, I think it is, broadca Broadcaster, uh, which does... I was using using Gamecaster before. I've took, taken that away because I've got to play around with Broadcaster and I quite like that, the way it works. It's very simple to use. I'm a simple person, so anything simple for me to use is, you know, always better. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Come on, guys, let me get through this red light, please. I'm trying to be... Go, go, go. Well, I've got $18.7 million. I think I can afford to pay the one fine, don't you? So I am looking forward to getting this thing on the road and seeing what's what. I want to know how heavy it is. And yeah, just how it's going to handle. I've had a bit of a play with the Euro Truck 2 Heavy Haul DLC and I really like it. I'm not going to lie, it's really good. Uh, the only thing is I wish the loads just felt a little bit more heavier because when you get a really high powered um, truck let's go over here now this is my genuine first time I've seen this in the game let's have a little look oh yeah that's cool so let's have a look a couple of them flags causing this frame rate lag actually because it happened on ETS2 just do the old uh, reverse the route. Wrong way. Go. Am I even close? Probably not. I'm gonna cheat. Hang on. Ah, why is that not? Funny one. Oh, I'm nowhere near. <laughs> I've got the advanced coupling thing on. So that's probably why. There we go. There's a little handle. Put the beacons on. Well, that's some serious effects going on with the beacons. I'm hoping that's not going to have too much of an effect. Okay, let's go. Now. Let's have a look at the... Oh yeah, you see how the, uh, the first point on the truck is turning and then you've got the second one where the low boy connects. Wow, that is going to take a long time to straighten up. Wow, okay. Let's see how we're going to get on with this then. Alright. Here we go. Clear. Yeah. Are we clear? Clear enough. Big berth. There we go. Wow, that's taken such a long time to straighten up. Look. Wow. Look. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's that's a massive load. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I don't know if that is the flags causing this lag or if it's my recording equipment. I'll have to play around with that a little time. But I just wanted to show you guys this thing, I and mean, it just looks awesome, in my opinion. How does it feel weight-wise? Um, I don't really know. How heavy is it? It's 40 tons, apparently, so it's not massively heavy. But I'm pulling off in third, and it's handling it. Stay there, buddy. So I don't really know what to make of that. Um, oh, God. Oh god! <laughs> oh, whoops! Don't stall. Look at that, look, I'm right near the barrier, I'm as far as I as dare go, and I'm only just inside my side of the road on, in the mirror. Wow! Holy moly, I've got to turn right here. Okay. I think we're going to go for a big swing here. So we'll just wait for the traffic to move. Go on, Mr. Policeman. And then we're going to have to go over there. Because I don't think the AI has been tweaked for this. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, I don't know. Now, how's that? How's that? How is that? How am I? Oh, there's loads of room. <laughs> Didn't quite have to go that far. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. So, we should be okay to get up to speed on this. I'm not liking this lag doesn't normally play like this. I can only assume it's the, the flags. But uh, we'll see. I'll turn the beacons off for now. That might help. Okay, well we're struggling to go any faster than 40. Turn the lights off as well. We shall see how we go. It seems alright. How, how far have we got to go? 287 miles. Not far. This is yeah, so I'm, I'm sort of excuse me I'm sat at 42 miles an hour in my 600 horsepower 625 horsepower engine there we go I'm building speed up quite nice now as this is a world of trucks job I can't um, do any more than 65 miles an hour even though the truck speed limit is 75 apparently on this road but we shall see yeah it does feel heavier, but it doesn't feel... I feel like it feels a bit heavier than the... Let's have a look at it. Wow. That's pretty cool. That's got little flags on the trailer as well. There's flags on the trailer. Okay, that's pretty cool. This is the standard map as well, so I don't know if it will work with... I don't know. I don't, I don't mess around with mods too much. Um, I have an economy mod on one of my other profiles, which I quite like. Uh, I don't get to play it much though, for obvious reasons. I'm doing YouTube, working full time. Um, and I'm looking forward to recording my going away on holiday video. Because uh, I can show you what game I'm going to be starting to uh, do a series on. I'm going to rest my summer car for a little while. Uh, it's purely because it is so hard to record it. It's so hard to get like... Especially at the minute, because I could, I could on my old recording system, I would just uh, on my old software, I would just pause it when I wasn't doing anything in particular, and I could just uh, re resume it when I got like if I was driving from my house to Fleetories or to the shop in the town, I could pause the recording, get there, and carry on recording, so you guys didn't have to sit and watch the driving. Now, in American truck sim, oh, this is a big hill. How are we doing? Are we going to need to change down? So this is no harder than the normal trailers except it's a bit longer so you do have to kind of make allowances not maybe not quite as much as I did on the last turn but some of those junctions they have the concrete uh, barriers right up to the edge of the road right to these what solid white lines on the right there um, so I, I kind of over oh I've changed down again <coughs> excuse me 
I've drank my drink before I even started recording. That was very clever of me, wasn't it? So I do apologise if this is a bit laggy. What I will do at the end of the video, I may take these flags off my cab and we'll see if that makes a difference. Or if it's OBS being hard work with the recording. We shall see. Come on, speed up. I'm actually tapping my uh, G29 like it's my real truck wheel. You know, encouraging it to go well. Oh, hang on, let's just drop down now. Let's drop it down to 7 16th. There we go. Just to get her up this hill. That seems to work better. So, like I say, I'm hoping it's a lag from the flags. Because my game normally plays this very well. Resume that. So, yeah, there it is. That's one of the trailers. And we seem to be pulling it quite nice. No big deal. No big deal at all. Like I say, it's very laggy, but I am thinking of the animation of the flags falling in there. At least I'm hoping it. Would have been cool if I could keep my. Uh, Well, God, really could it. would have been cool if I could keep my um, bull bar on the front. I mean, you can't have everything. I'm sure there'll be a mod for that or something that I may, may or may not use. This is my online profile, so that could be fun. Online could be very fun. Um, but I do wish there was more people playing this online, because it's a fantastic uh, game. I know it's not got many states, I know it's not quite as big as uh, Euro Truck, but don't forget, from end to end, it is over a thousand miles to drive in game, which is, you know, it's, it's pretty big. Go on, I don't want to slow down. There we go. This is risky because it's wide. Oh god, a little bit of wobble. There we go. Oh, we're going uphill. This may have been a mistake. How much room have we got between the trucks? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's still good. He's slowing down too, that's okay. Okay, we We'll keep in this lane for a minute, I thought I can still hear him, so I don't want to pull in. What we'll do is actually give us a fighting chance here. Oh, that's rude. Just rude. We'll, we'll let you off. Maybe slide in. I don't know if there's anything there. Oh, I can't slide in. Good thing I checked my mirror. We're holding at 48 miles an hour, but 32,751, 52 miles on my peak. Yeah, I was really happy when they released this truck. There's no other truck I want them to release. I know people want them to release other trucks, which is fine by them, and I'll have a look at them. But this is definitely my uh, go-to truck. And my uh, sexy ladies on the steering wheel. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta like the sexy ladies. Yeah, I like the sexy ladies. My uh, wifey to be would kill me if she heard me saying that, but you know, I'm a man. I'm allowed to look. Yeah, I'm hoping this does turn out okay on the video. <laughs> I'm definitely taking them flags off though. I don't know if it is just that, but we'll see. Oh no! Oh, no. oh shoot! We're gonna come off here. Okay, there's a car there. Is there another one? No, it's okay. Well, that was. Uh... Hey, listen, I never played this game a lot. I didn't say I was good at it. <laughs> okay, that's my disclaimer right there. Just because you do something a lot doesn't make you good at it. So we've got to remember. If you can hear my squeaky chair. I do apologise, but I love my squeaky chair. It's basically just a basic office chair. Nothing fancy, but yeah, anyway. But, uh, yeah. It is so cool, though. It is really cool. Oh, jeez. If I get this thing to where it needs to be without damaging it, I'm very surprised. 
<laughs> there we go. I am going to take this online later on, I think, just to have a look. If they've updated, I don't know if they have, I've not checked the, uh, the forum. But yeah, I mean, the mod community is going to go nuts with this kind of thing. Especially with, well, when the uh, actual double trailers come out, that's when they're going to go absolutely bonkers for it. I know they are. I do know they are. I don't blame them. You know, I mean, I enjoy watching them once and I don't really take part in them, but I am actually looking forward to the box trailer doubles as well. Um, more so in ATS than ETS2 because really in the UK you don't really see the long, you know, the articulated trailers, you don't really see them with like a box on the back. You normally have like a, a what we call a wagon and drag, where it's basically a rigid truck with a trailer on the back. It's longer than the articulated trailer, but there's no extra on the back. And I've, I haven't, I mean, I'm a taxi driver in the UK and I'm, I'm all over the place. And I, I don't really see those. I mean, they must exist in Europe and whatnot because, you know, you're in the game. But uh, I've, I've not really seen them on the UK road, so I'm not really, I mean, I'm going to use them, I'm going to play with them. Of course, I am. Mean, it's going to make the game more interesting. But as for realism for me, I don't know. I mean, it's got to be real because they put it in the game. <laughs> Uh, what I mean by that is it must be a real thing that happens in real life because they've added it in just like the uh, doubles on here which I have seen in movies and stuff so I do know they have the doubles in America um, and speaking to some customers who are American they also said they do have doubles so it's a long road man at least the sun's sort of shining cloudy we haven't got rain which is good I don't think we really do get rain in uh, we still in Arizona. Oh, I don't know where we are. Yeah, we're in. Of course, we are. We've got Holbrook, aren't we? Yeah. Well, hold well on, me. Oh God, here we go, Mr. Uber Professional. So yeah, so hopefully this is not going to play back too well, uh, uh, too badly. I shall have a look. Um, I'm going to have to upload it though, because I really wanted to get it out on the day of release. Never done that before. My first one. Go me. You know where DLC has been released and I've jumped on it and gone yeah you know what soon as it's finished work I'll download it I'll uh, make a video post it for the end of the night but you know I'm still I'm still in that learning stage I've only done a few videos um, so and I think I think I found that was me clicking my fingers I think I found out how to save my edited movie so like I've added an intro and stuff to one of my one of my pre-recorded videos that I've already done, already posted that last uh, subsistence video I posted. I had to post the raw one, the one I recorded, uh, because I hadn't figured out how to. I, I, I've got on on my Windows uh, Media Movie Maker thingy. I saved it with an intro and an outro, no music, just like a pattern and stuff. But I couldn't. Remember, I couldn't figure out how to convert it to the right file to then be able to upload it to YouTube. Um, but I've done that, so well, hopefully I've figured that out. I'm going to try and try that out on uh, that previous video that I've got saved, just to see if it will upload. And if it does, then on Friday I'll try a bit harder um, to get you a nice video out. Friday won't be the last video, I don't think. I'm hoping not. I don't go away till Monday, but I'm working a lot over the weekend. So, um, you know, I'm trying to make some extra pennies before I go away. My, my, my fiance has expensive taste. She cheaply men because she's with me and I'm cheap and chubby. <laughs> um, no, I'm joking. She's got her own money, but I'd like to have a bit more for myself. Um, come on, dude. Come on. So yeah, like I said, I'm hoping this frame rate thing is to do with the flags on the truck and not the recording. If it is, um, for the Euro American truck and Euro truck, I might have to go back to Gamecaster or Game Broadcaster, whatever it is, Broadcaster, the XSplit thing, just for the, just for the uh, uh, trucking videos, because it seems to play and record a lot better than this one does. But like I said, I don't know whether it's just because of the flags. There's four flags on here, which has never been done. Like Euro Truck hasn't got the option for four flags, only two. When you've got the flag accessory pack, we shall see. 
Yeah, show sure another look on the outside because I think it's really good. I mean, that's my camera zoomed out as far as it will go, man. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty huge. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it a lot. Oh god, it wobbly. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to try and uh, find somewhere where I can compare it. Now, by the way, this is my first time pulling one of these loads. I've, I've um, I told you a lie. I, d I downloaded this on my lunch break today, on the Thursday that it came out. No, we're on Wednesday. Tell a lie again. On the Wednesday, we're on Wednesday. I'm recording this Wednesday evening, and uh, I had a quick look, but only in the trailer preview thing I haven't seen them in the flesh if you like with the game itself so yeah this is my first time pulling a trailer this long driving with a trailer so I'm hooking one up and I'm hoping I haven't got a hard uh, drop-off point I mean I'm still gonna do it I'm still gonna do it unedited and show you what I'm doing but I've put over 1800 1800 hours into Euro Truck Simulator 2 so I like to think I know what I'm doing when it comes to driving a truck but in American Truck Simulator I've got to be honest with the truck being longer with a not quite a tight turning circle and some of the trailers being quite long and now obviously these stop 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 yeah obviously these trailers are quite long well there is no uh oh uh oh there we go okay that was just me messing up Come on, you can do it. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look how this is going to work. Again, it's not a massive, it's not a tight junction, so we should be okay with the normal. Oop. Oh yeah, look, look at that. Yeah, it's going to drag along the graph. So if we put this yellow line, yeah, we're going to have overhang all the way, look. Yeah. Oh wow, that's... Uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm looking forward to uh, having a go on multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, makes me wonder if there will suddenly be a surge in uh, people playing the game because there was when uh, the ETS2 heavy cargo pack came out. There was a huge surge on the servers and everything. Let's open up an extra server, like the multiplayer people. Not SCS software is nothing to do with the multiplayer mod. It's purely a mod. You have to go on Trucker's MP to download it. Uh, you need to be on Steam, uh, which is cool. If you've got the game key inside, if you've got a disc copy of this game, um, and you, I don't know how you would update it, but that's how you get the game to date. If you go onto Steam, register at Steam, it doesn't cost anything, and all the DLC and everything is on there, and you can. Um, update the game and look at that noise so what happens if we just take this turn normally wow that's going to take a long yeah that's taken a long time man I like this DLC it feels a bit it feels a bit more heavy than the Euro Truck Simulator 2 one because you have like I am currently using a 490 horsepower truck I'm pulling the stuff just fine. I've got the normal chassis, I've got the, it's got two powered axles, there's no extra lift axle or anything like that. And it just seems to work okay. Oh god, okay, right. Um, so where's that drop off point? We're going to do it all from in cab, but what I'm going to do is give myself a nice big turn. Oh, I think I know where this drop off point is. Okay, so we're going to need, if we go. It's over there, look, by these containers, yeah. Okay, so if we go forward a little bit, and then if we turn last second, is this gonna work? That might work, there we go. Do it like that. What if I run along here, and then bring it in? Is that gonna be enough? Is that gonna be enough? No. Oh, I'm not far enough forward. Oh, okay. Keep it. There we go. Okay, so I did. 
No, that's the shorter trailer. I just stalled it. But that's the shortest trailer they do. Okay? So the longer ones could be even more fun. There we go. 300 miles, time taken, 25 minutes. 288.2 litres of fuel. Of, eight, of my profile, I've completed 87 contracts. That's really cool. And I've just leveled up to level 25. Okay. Let's do that one next. I don't know what's going to do. Okay. Uh, no upgrades available. Wow. Elegance Chrome. Real cover. Yeah. We'll go to the... We'll go there anyway. Um, oops. We'll go there anyway because I want to take those flags off to see if that's going to have any difference on the performance whatsoever or if it is my recording equipment. If it is, it'll have to be done on Xbox Game Caster. I really enjoyed that. It was, it was nice. It was different. It's more of a, wow. How far is this? Uh, 142 miles to the. Oh, 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 oh. We have a casualty. A sign that doesn't want to fall all the way over. My bad. Okay, let's get let's just haul us down here a little bit. I'm going to ignore a few road violations just because I want to just get to uh, road violations, road laws, because I want to get to the garage and play around with the turn flags off, see if that's going to make a difference to how this game runs. I'm hoping it will, but at the same time I'm hoping it won't, because I kind of like the flags. It'd be cool if you could see them from the cab though. You know, so you could kind of get a reason, feel for why you've got lag. See, it's not lagging as much, I don't think, with the trailer on, so I'm guessing it could be the flags. Okay, I'm not going to risk it. I was going to overtake him on a blind bend. But it guarantees something's coming, something's coming. And now I'm crossing double yellows. Now if this was GTA, I'd be off over that grass to the left and down on the road and, and away. The wrong way, but I'll be away. I'll be going across the residential and coming back again. So, let's just have a little look. Whoa. There you go. There you go. I'm kind of a bit disappointed that my big windbreaker is gone. But at the same time, you don't really need one if you're going to be pulling those kind of trailers, you know? It just kind of makes it look a bit more badass, in my opinion. That's why I haven't gone for the full uh, cab over extension. I don't like that so much. It kind of ruins the aesthetics of the truck, you know? And like, to me, this reminds me of my the old 80s, 90s, 70s even, style trucks. You put that big curved roof on, it kind of ruins it. That's just my own opinion. Yeah, we are doing 85 miles an hour, but shh, I don't tell anyone, okay? If police want to find me, they can. Oh yeah, 90, 95. Can we keep going? Can we hit 100? Oh yeah, baby, we're off the speedo and we're doing 100 miles an hour. Can we consider 100 miles an hour? 101. 102. I really feel like 102. We'll go with it. It's a lot quicker than it should be. Oh, please, car. Could be a police car. Oh, but nothing's easy to pass against. That's a police car. Nuts. Okay, we'll just slow down a little bit. I don't really want to get. Is that a police car? No. It's alright. Carry on. Those flags are going nuts on the front. Yeah, they are. Almost a bit of jewel going on. If you know what jewel is, by the way, I recommend you look it up. It's a great film. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it's uh, Steven Spielberg's debut full movie as a director. You know the guy from Jurassic Park, uh, that, those kind of movies? It's basically a road movie about a businessman who's 
going for a business movie meeting from his house and he ends up on a road, yeah, a quiet road like this. Yeah, if this was GTA right now, they'll be trying to get me off the road. And basically, they he encounters this like old tanker truck. Uh, I mean, it's very old, it's very rusty. It's chucking out black smoke and he passes it and carries on with his, on his way. Uh, and then a few minutes later, the truck then passes him. And it goes on a little while, they're passing each other, and as it gets more intense, the truck gets more like he starts like coming right up to the rear bumper of the uh, of the car and scaring the guy, honking his horn, and frightening him, and the music's going, and it's pretty cool, it's, 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 it's worth a look. It's worth a look. I won't tell you why it's going on, or what's, what happens, but yeah, it's definitely worth a look. It's one of my favourite films. Um, there you go. Come on, you let me in? Yeah. How far have we got? 24 miles. Uh, I don't normally play uh, American trucks in like this or Euro trucks in. It's, it's kind of a, well, that was a close bush, wasn't it? A bit odd, is this? I don't know, the, the, the verges look a little bit naff. My graphics settings are all screwed up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with it. I'll have to have a look at it after I finish recording this video. Then. Yeah. Come on, it's a long 24 miles. Uh, we're leaving the motorway here, freeway, whatever you want to call it. We're going to Flagstaff, apparently. You're going to Flagstaff too, but I'm just getting it down here. Excuse me, sorry, coming through. Like I said, I don't normally do this, but I haven't quite got the, the editing and that isn't sorted out properly. So I was just having to do the. Oh, uh, okay. I'm having to do this just out of quickness, I'm afraid. It's not, it's not really a simulator when you do it like this, but, you know, we've done the simulation part, this is just like an extra <laughs> added bonus, if you like. That's what we were classy as, all right? Yeah, that's, yeah, that works for me. Oh, we just so happy to go into a Peterboat dealer too. Hey, that's a handsome dude there, do you see that? I like that. Let's just go and uh, say hey to this dude. I pulled a bigger trailer than you today, dude. And I got a bigger cab. For the record, I did say cab. <laughs> Let's see if this is going to make a difference. Let's just whip these off. The flags. We'll take the flags off. I just had this awful feeling that the TV was playing in the background then. Luckily it wasn't. We'll take these off, okay? Right, okay, let's just see what happens. See if the performance improves any. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Let's get rid of that. I don't know. Possibly. Okay, well I'm going to leave this video right here. I do hope... I do hope you enjoyed the uh, oversized load video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video.